Blake Snell is a 6'4 left-handed pitcher for the Tampa Bay Rays and 2018's AL Cy Young Award winner. The Washington native made his MLB debut with the Rays in 2016, striking out 9.91 hitters per 9 innings, but also having a high walk rate to begin his career. Since then, Snell has maintained his elite strikeout rate while lowering his walk rate. He throws a four-seam fastball, curveball, changeup, and slider, and all of these pitches are very effective. Last season, both his slider and curveball induced swings and misses more than 25% of the time, among the best in the MLB. His fastball averages 95 to 96 miles per hour, and his curveball hits in the low 80s, while his slider and changeup fall in the mid to upper 80s. From the batter's eye, the lefty's four pitch sequencing makes it very difficult to time pitches and guess what's coming next. Through May 1st, Snell is throwing his curveball more and his fastball less against his career averages. When even or behind in the count, however, Snell tends to move away from fastballs, comparing to David Price and Yolish Chessin. In 2018, Snell averaged over a 2300 spin rate on two seam and four seam fastballs, ranking third on the race behind Matt Andrees and Jaime Schultz. Other elite pitchers like Clayton Kershaw and Garrett Cole have also been working on getting more spin on their pitches. Baseball research shows that creating a higher spin rate on fastballs tends to suppress batting average. Like Kershaw and Cole, Snell has transformed himself into a high-powered starter, acting as a valuable chip against the dominant Yankees and Red Sox. The Tampa Bay Rays, a franchise that spends relatively little money on its players, locked him into a cheap 5-year $50 million deal. However, like former aces David Price and Chris Archer, it's a good bet that Snell will be dealt for affordable prospects over the next 3-4 to four seasons. For now, the Rays have one of baseball's elite starters alongside the emerging pitcher Tyler Glass now, which gives them a good chance of winning the AL East title this season.